Welcome back to another episode of Stacia Expert Mode, where today we're looking at Enderman. Uh, just uh, getting a little bit more demon will. Uh, filled up one Tartaric gem all the way, but we need 60 will in another one. Oh, actually no, possibly we only needed the first one. But uh, again, since we probably want to leapfrog this, I might upgrade all of these to the next level. I think that'll be cool. And our sword now does 7.5 damage. He has life leech and mending on him, which is kind of cool. Did manage to pick up this iron backpack, which has something very interesting in it, in terms of Tetra. And that is one of these schematics things. or well, schematic things. And the schematic is Howling Blade. And from reading it, it seems like this would let us... We, we could use the sword to deflect projectiles, essentially. Like right now, we could swing our sword, our tetra sword, and it would send the arrows back. And I mean, that just sounds cool. I would really, really like to put that on my tetra sword. Um, and it has to be centered in a 5x5 area near the workbench. I don't know if we can just chuck it, like, on this back wall. Like, is that a thing? Does this work? Oh, there it is. Howling Blade. Craft a set of fuller attachments. Ah, so we've got, like, gold fuller at the moment. Um, that's not a thing. I did pick up some... I'm going to try diamond. Oh, I could try netherite, actually. I um, did pick up some. It's in this bag. Raw azure silver from Silent Gear. But I'm picking Silent Gear stuff. Doesn't work with Tetra. Could be wrong. So if we do this... Oh, we don't have enough integrity. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, what if we made like a netherite help? Would that increase our... It would, but I don't think that's enough. Huh. We'd probably, maybe if we remove this. And we have nine durability. Um, if we put a wide guard... It's actually going to use up some of our integrity. That's unfortunate. Huh. This would give us call. Cool, let's do that. And then let's put the Howling Blade on. Ah, oh, we're still short. But we could go for a... Netherite Health. Which is going to reduce our damage. We're possibly just losing something. Oh, we're going to lose Mending. Oh, I've got I've got plenty of Mending books now. Um, and then I want this Howling Blade. Cool. Um, I've got a Mending book somewhere. Just because Mending is quite nice to have. There's a Mending. Netherite Sword with Howling Blade, whatever that means. <laughs> Fully Netherite. Um, can we just put like another... So like a, a counterweight, grip loop. Increases the reach of the sword. That would actually be handy. I guess we're just going to have a fully netherite sword. I think that was the last of my netherite, actually. Hey, right, cool. Uh, and we want to enchant, enchant the netherite hilt with that. Because I really don't want to have to be repairing that. Oh, hey, that's doing something. How long? Oh, we'd lose movement speed. But we deflect projectiles. Does that look cool? I mean, not super cool, but uh, nice. So, lapis, that, that, and a thingy. Wait, I thought this required... I thought it required will there. It must be using the will out of the gem itself. That's... So this won't work. Uh, wait, and this won't work? Oh, I was putting it in the wrong place. Oh, hang on. So yeah, you don't have enough will. If I put this there, it's going to use the will out of that. I see how this works. And then we can put this dude here and we'll get another one. Perfect. Nice. Um, could we even go to the next level of gym? Make a sentient axe, we don't really need that. 
Ah, uh, no. So that's where we start to need imbued slates, which is actually a tier three. Ooh. Okay. But I might just pop back to the nether and at least level up these things or fill the, fill the will in them, uh, which is going to boost our damage on our sword uh, eventually. Eventually. And we might even get a little bit of experience over there too. So, right. Back in a bit. And then I guess we'll look at doing the, the actual... That was rude. Um, we'll look at doing the actual blood altar stuff. Yeah, there's that silver stuff. Oh. The azure silver ore. Yeah. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Oh, and there's those spiral things. I mean, now that we have flight. Actually looks kind of clear. Is this just glass? Myolite crystal. Is the purple stuff different? Myolite crystal. It's used for nothing. It's just decoration. Still. Kind of cool though. Hey, whoa. <laughs> I just realized there is a second in city right beside this one. What are the chances? Well, uh, one of these Endermen dropped a nimble netherite sword of electrocution. So that's pretty cool. I doubt we could keep this. Oh, 60 percent attack speed that sounds good um i doubt we could keep this like as a tetra sword can't look at anything from this far away um i'd like to test it can i look at you yep that's gonna work so what is it full strength attacks with the L. i mean how do we know if it does i mean i'm assuming it's doing lightning damage it's kind of hard to tell but uh, yeah, and also got another one of these, what well, used to be, I feel like they used to be harder to find these, um, these keys for, for Woot stuff, so we'll have to get into Woot at some stage. A couple of other things from the uh, in-city, but yeah. Sweet, time to head back. Um, this guy's fully charged, this guy's almost charged, but we need to get into the Blood Altar before we can actually upgrade him to the next one. And our sword now does 8.5 damage. Well, just had to go a little bit of digging just over there to get a couple more rock crystals because uh, the sacrificial knife has changed recipe. Just a tad, just a tad. So we've got lumium, gold sheet metal's easy, and a crystal sword is just a couple of rock crystals and a stick. So we'll craft this guy. Ah, oh, needs to be night time. I just slept before. Darn. Well, that's cool. We'll <laughs> wait for it to become nighttime again. Yeah, I just, just slept. We also got star metal ore as a quest reward for getting iron ore. And it's uh, pretty easy to make star metal, but we just have to go back to our astral sorcery thing and make a linking tool, which isn't actually a quest here. And I'm picking we can use this in our crusher. It actually doesn't look like it. Looks like we can only smelt it. Hmm. That's cool. So we'll do that. Probably going to go the self-sacrificial route for a start. And something I found last playthrough, but didn't actually make use of, was the ritual stuff. Um, so we might actually look at that, because... Um, getting a ritual thing to give us healing would actually be quite good. Uh, we need a ritual pedestal, and not, it looks like none of these recipes are actually changed. We do need to get a starlight infuser, but again, like this is all standard recipes, so this won't be too bad to get. Um, but what I am over here for, well, oh yeah, you can make lapis, a lapis helmet, I thank you. Um, we're over here because I may as well grab the other stuff we need for this. So we just need gold sheet metal, easy. Dagger of Sacrifice, we can make that. We just need a tier 2 altar. Cool. So all we're waiting on is the crystal sword, which we just need it to be night time. Uh, but I guess we try and grind up. 
Yeah, we can't grind that up. Can we smelt it on this guy? I guess that's cool. Um, what are we going to need in terms of... I need one ingot there. We're going to need to attune a rock crystal. That's going to need two star metal ingots. That's going to need one star metal dust. I mean, I guess we'll crush one. Oh. Oh, we need the star metal cutting tool to do that. That's right, that's a new thing. But hey, that's pretty simple. So I guess we could start looking at the other astral sorcery stuff we're going to need. Um, I did make some more living rock because that's used for our, our blood magic stuff. But we're going to want a couple more astral sorcery structures. <laughs> Attunement altars are very large and I don't even think we can craft these yet. Attunement. Actually, we may have the research unlocked for that. That could be kind of cool. I mean, yeah, we've got a rock crystal. I'm going to end up using one I don't want to, aren't I? So... The stuff's in here. I've got one other rock crystal. I guess we'll use it. I'll just have to go looking for it at night time. Yeah, if we were to look at the attunement altar... We need to make one of these dudes. Now these are massive, massive structures that take up a lot of room. Where would be a good place for that? I guess we could have like something out this side, something out this side, and something out this side. I'll do the attunement altar out here because he's quite flat. Um, so he's pretty easy to make. And actually, I believe that there is a tool for visualizing stuff with Astral Sorcery. But uh, I'll probably just do it the old school manual way. Um, and just craft this dude. It's 19 by 19. Take off one there. 17. Take off one there. It's 15. So it's 15 by 15 internal of black city marble. Yeah. I'll whip up one of these structures just while we're waiting for night time. Because uh, we're going to need starlight for making the... That crystal sword, anyway. Uh, part way through. <laughs> it's actually quite a lot of city marble. I'm actually going to have to go mining for marble, I'm pretty sure. But we should be able to, and I'll keep the ritual effect. Three stone separate. Hey, that'll be this thing. Nice. Now i got to say I've never actually used these crystal swords. Um, but you can see like the size and shape and tool efficiency and I think that would all contribute to the damage and I'm pretty sure you can like chuck it in starlight to grow it more. Um, our helm's going to stop that from working but... Wait. Oh, no, he's still there. I actually don't know if that's how you do this. Maybe you have to do the crystals first but... Doesn't matter, we're not actually going to use this guy. We're going to upgrade him to a sacrificial knife. I didn't bring gold. I did bring gold. Hey, a sacrificial knife. We can then start filling this guy. Oh. Oh, that was, whoops. That was one too many. Let's try that again. <laughs> so we've got our self-sacrificial dagger. We've got some, some life essence in there. If we were to grab some living rock. Actually, no, we want a diamond first, don't we? Get our first blood orb, which will let us store stuff. We need 2,000 life points. We have 3,000. Can't wear a magnet helm, but that's not how you do this. You right-click it in there. Oh, hey, that's cool that it shows you what it's doing. That's new. That was not in the old version. And there's our blood orb. We now right click this to bind it to us. And we could chuck him in there and he would absorb that life essence. Um, we'd need a different thing to see how much is in our life network. But I also want to make one of these. 
cool. Got our first blank slate. And this is used for a bunch of stuff. I don't know what that is. Now the XNet controller was where I was heading with that one. Um, we might get into that. Maybe not just right now. But yeah, what would be cool is having regeneration from a ritual, from astral sorcery. And then we could kind of just stand here and be filling our blood network, but then also be regenerating really fast. And I think that would be pretty cool. So I'm going to continue working on this attunement altar, and we can attune ourselves as well, which Astral Sorcery Attunement is very powerful. So back once I've built uh, this dude. Um, I think uh, Wandering Traders might have been buffed a little bit <laughs> because uh, this dude sells well, the skeleton skulls. Uh, we, I mean, we, we got a few. Could get another earth base, but I don't really need it. Um, maybe a jungle sapling. Uh, I just want one. Yes. Cheers, mate. And uh, yeah, almost got this dude assembled. Well, actually, I think I do have him assembled. Ah, oh, no, I'm missing. Yeah, I saw that guy and I had to check out his trades and yeah. Very good. So this should be the structure. Um, so we made that. We need to make this a Tumen altar. I think we can just make this, right? I just need an astral relay. None of that is too major. Um, so yeah. I mean, glass lens. I don't think I showed this on camera, but it's just aquamarine and glass panes. We're going to have to wait till night time as well. You know, for a second I thought we weren't going to have enough starlight, but I think we're good. We're not even, not even all the way in the sky yet. Wait. Come on. Come on. Don't tell me that's the maximum. No, 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 no. Just a, <laughs> just a little bit more. Come on, mate. Surely, surely moon in the sky completely is full starlight. Oh, you pain. Now, I could move this whole thing up, um, but we can also focus some uh, focus some starlight. Darn it. Darn, darn, darn. We could move the whole thing up. I just can't be bothered. And it's going to become an issue later on. So we've also got the, the astral things for focusing, right? It's not called that, though. Lens. This dude. Crystal lens. I'm out of rock crystals. We could almost make that, and then if we had a linking tool, which also needs a rock crystal, then we'd be able to do it. Oh man. Uh, so jump the gun a little bit. It's these things we want. And you can sort of share the middle blocks. Uh, yeah, we'll use that lens later, but uh, not, not quite now. And so I think all I need to do is not drop the sword, but put put these here, and there we go. We should now have enough starlight to get ourselves one of these things. Perfect. Yeah, there's a few mobs. There's a few mobs. Um, we might even be able to attune ourselves. Um, assuming that I have constructed this altar correctly. This should go underneath here. I'm going to say I didn't construct it correctly. Mate, I'm, I'm busy. Oh dear, there's drank everywhere. Wow, that might have been really obvious if you're watching. Um, I had not made this high enough. So this should be good. Now, there we go. That's what we're looking for. And it's almost daytime, but we can now attune ourselves. Uh, I've probably got enough relays. Or VCO, what was that one? I don't know if I want... Breaking blocks. I don't want that as my way to get experience. I think... I mean, I want the... Avetus perks. But I think it's like taking damage gives you experience. Normally the movement one's the best one. 
which I think is VCO. Yeah, I think VCO gives you experience for just running around, which I've always found to be like the easiest one. Um, you got VCO, cool. But now we have to wait for it to be in the sky. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll tune ourselves next episode because I also want to work on getting the ritual stuff. So we've done this guy. At least need to make the ritual stuff. Again, this was, this was all pretty simple. So we'll, we'll work on this next episode and that'll be cool. Be able to tune ourselves, get some bonus speed for a start, but then bonus hearts are really what I'm after. All right, well, uh, next episode, we're going to become really powerful. Well, we're going to start to become really powerful. I'm going to have to deal with that zombie. See you guys in the next one.